Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel here. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. You're in my tarot playlist where we kind of get a little glimpse at the areas of money, relationship, career, and well-being as I interpret through the tarot. Let's get started. Okay. So here we go. Let's just, just right, jump right to it, right? Okay. Money. Mmm, right. So here we have the Nine of Cups. And if you're trading paper, um, you're a little bit glum because some of the um, moves that you made and some of the positions that you've placed yourself in did not provide the yields that you were looking for. So those expectations weren't met. So um, definitely very important for you to kind of put your money towards things that are probably a little bit more long term. So these short term uh uh, moves that you've made are not, um, uh, are for better word, the word is coming to me, volatile. So take a look at your investments and see about placing some of them in some long term and some more secure uh, places. Okay, overall, and it's funny because I'm getting this like stream that feels like it's coming from yesterday about or day before yesterday, something about overindulging or impulsive buying. So here we are still feeling kind of bummed out about this, this these purchases that that happen or it could be that you you um use some of your money to help someone and the results weren't what you thought this person either um kind of took you by surprise you know and and you thought that they probably were going to be appreciative about what happened or you kind of thought that they really needed the help and as it turned out they were just really using you and so um that's kind of a very a very uncomfortable place to be in or this could be a message that you are had are expecting some money from some source that of course you're aware of and that money still isn't um here yet uh just you have to be a little bit more patient and uh you know kind of be prepared to weather weather that a little longer and focus on the things that you do have and how you can continue to work better to achieve your goals but right now that money that you think is coming and it's on its way is not coming in fast enough so don't make purchases based on money that's not here yet so be careful with that okay let's move on to relationship and see how that one is going to roll out ah relationship is here presented as new beginnings and in this new beginning, there is going to be someone that's going to come into your life that is very loyal. This person is very practical, um, very earthy, very generous. You can count on this person. So as this is showing up in your life, um, this is so much something that you needed. Additionally, as we're relating to couples and existing relationships, this is a time where there is a good sense of stability. There's a good sense of working together, um, a sense that each one can still be their own self um, without, you know, the other person just breathing down their neck. So there's a sense of trust, a sense of that this relationship is coming into a sense of stability and also a sense of coming together financially where there is prosperity, there's abundance and feeling kind of in a good place together. So if you're single, um, this is really about taking care of yourself, setting yourself up in your foundation, um, and to, um, to allow yourself to feel, um, you know, comfortable as you love yourself. So there's, as you do that, you begin to build up this energy for yourself and sensing that you begin to know yourself better and there comes a level of confidence that you don't need or depend on others. And then that confidence becomes a magnetic impulse for you where you become attractive to others. So set yourself up in love as you love yourself. Love will flourish for you. All right. Career.
Ah, okay. So in your career, looks like there's a lot of um, opportunities for progress here. There's a lot of things that are being presented for you. And these options are available. And one thing that you've got to be very careful is that if you sit around thinking too long about which one of these you're going to pick and which one is the best for you, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to miss the opportunity. So the best thing is, is to not sit back so much and daydream or dream or wait too long on, you know, saying yes to any one of these things that are showing up in your life, but it is about acting and being decisive with confidence and trusting that the mighty power of God is guiding you in the right direction. So make sure you don't daydream too much. Be, be happy for the blessed opportunity that you're getting all these things of being available to you. But the thing is, those opportunities won't be there too long. Somebody will grab it and you will be there like, what happened? Okay, well-being. Let's jump into well-being and see what will be revealed for us today. Hmm. Okay, well, what's up with the queen? And she is upside down and her coins are falling off her hand. So feeling a little bit off today. Um, it could be that there is a sense of disconnect um, and that happens. That's that's okay. Maybe a little sadness, a little um, depression. And because you're looking at life and feeling somewhat kind of like what is what is going on? Is there more to this life? Because it's not all about, you know, chasing the money and it's not all about, you know, working, but it's really about what's that deeper connection. And so as you try to find that happy place for yourself, you know, what makes you happy? You'll regain that place again in your center. You'll have that strength and confidence and that sense of a bounty and abundance. But, you know, having that down day, give yourself permission for that too, because sometimes we're so rough on ourselves that we just, you know, beat ourselves up more. It's okay to have an off day. That's how you can appreciate the good days. But don't sit in that space too long because it will affect you and it will continue to drag you down darker into the abyss emotionally. So you don't want to be there. You want to make sure that you give yourself the downtime. That's okay. But then go back at the end of the day and look at all the things that you're grateful for. And as you do that, this will be restored. Okay, let's move on and take a look at our collective message for this through the Gabrielle Oracle deck. Okay. Okay. We've had so much under journalism. Uh, what was the other one? Speech or speech or speaking. And now the editor upside down. So there is something, and I'm going to send this out there about the throat chakra. So very interesting how all this throat and communication. So um, take a look. If you know anything about chakras, maybe the throat chakra is blocked. You might want to do some meditation exercises. You might want to surround yourself with uh, the color blue or do anything to unblock your throat chakra so that you can open up your communication portal. Here it says here, your writing or other creative project benefit from outside help and support. So going back to this message, looking at it upside down, you may want to reach out to someone and talk about what is bothering you. Just share this with a confidant, you know, and someone that can, can be a good ear for you. And also write things down and help yourself work this out. So definitely there's a very strong vibe here about communication, a strong vibe about your energy field. And probably the reason why you're feeling so low is because you've got so much bottled up and it's time to just have a talk down with someone. So if you are interested in a reading, uh, please do go to my website at www.fortuneforecast.com and maybe we can find a way to clear out those cobwebs and bring back that flow in the communication department. Well, my lovelies, thank you for joining me and God willing, we'll meet each other on the next video.